Blasphemy Law in Iran, Wikipedia Article Audio Iran is a constitutional, Islamic theocracy. Its official religion is the doctrine of the Twelver Jafari school. Iran's law against blasphemy derives from Sharia. Blasphemers are usually charged with spreading corruption on earth, or mufstifil arts, which can also be applied to criminal or political crimes. The law against blasphemy complements laws against criticizing the Islamic regime, insulting Islam, and publishing materials that deviate from Islamic standards. The regime uses these laws to persecute religious minorities such as the Sunni, Baha'i, Sufi, and Christians and to persecute dissidents and journalists. Persecuted individuals are subject to surveillance by the religious police, harassment, prolonged detention, mistreatment, torture, and execution. The courts have acquitted vigilantes who killed in the belief that their victims were engaged in un-Islamic activities. On June 9, 2009, the singer Mohsen Namju was sentenced in absentia to a five-year jail term for ridiculing the Quran in a song. In 2008, Namju had apologized for the song, which he claimed was never meant for public release. Selected Cases Asaman Newspaper In March 2009, Iranian blogger Omid Mirza Yafai died in prison while serving a 30-month sentence for propaganda against the state and criticism of religious leaders. The authorities said Mirza Yafai committed suicide. In February 2009, the Iranian government launched a campaign against Mohammad Mojadahed Shibstari, a Shia Muslim cleric, for blasphemy. Shabestari's blasphemy was to say in a speech, if in a society the three concepts of God, power, and authority are mixed up, a political religious despotism will find strong roots. And the people will suffer greatly. In May 2007, Authorities arrested eight students at Tehran's Amir Kabir University. The students were associated with a newspaper which had published articles suggesting that no humans were infallible, including Prophet Muhammad. In October 2006, Ayatollah Hossein Kazimini Burojurdi, a senior Shia cleric who advocates the separation of religion and state, and a number of his followers were arrested and imprisoned after clashes with riot police. He and 17 of his followers were initially sentenced to death, but the death sentences were later withdrawn. In August 2007, he was sentenced to one year in prison in Tehran followed by another 10 years in prison in another part of the country. In 2002, Hashim Aga Yari, a member of the Shia majority, a history professor, and a veteran who lost a leg in 1980-88 war against Iraq, gave a speech in which he called for political reforms. The authorities arrested Aga Yari, charged him with blasphemy, and jailed him. A court convicted Aga Yari, and made death the penalty. In June 2004, the Supreme Court substituted a charge of insulting religious values for the blasphemy charge, and imposed a jail term of three years among other penalties. Aga Yari was released on bail on July 31, 2004. In 1999, Iran put on trial for insulting the Prophet, his descendants, and the Ayatollah Khomeini, and for other charges, Abdallah Nouri, the former Minister of the Interior in the Raf Sanjani and Katumi cabinets. In 1999, Nouri was the publisher of a daily newspaper that discussed the limits on the Supreme Leader's powers, the rights of unorthodox clerics and groups to air their views, the right of women to divorce, and whether laughing and clapping were un-Islamic. 
On November 27, 1999, the special court for the clergy found Nori guilty, and sentenced him to five years imprisonment and a fine. Nori was released on November 5, 2002. In 1988, in the United Kingdom, Salman Rushdie published The Satanic Verses, a novel. Muslims in the United Kingdom accused Rushdie of blasphemy. Some Muslims called upon the Crown to prosecute Rushdie but it did not. On February 14, 1989, the Ayatollah Khomeini of Iran issued a fatwa which called for Muslims to kill Rushdie and all publishers of the Satanic Verses. In 1991, Hitoshi Igarashi, the novel's Japanese translator was stabbed to death. Shortly afterward, the Italian translator was stabbed but survived. In 1993, the Norwegian publisher of the book was injured in a gun attack. Asaman, a reformist newspaper was shut after just one week of publication. The closure was done after a professor, Davud Hermitasbavand, described I for an eye punishment as inhumane. Asaman was aligned with the country's new president Hassan Rouhani. Former reformist president, Mohamed Katumi, had endorsed the paper in a letter published in its first edition, saying, Whenever the space for life tightens, whenever the land dries up and is deprived of water, people lift their eyes to the sky to keep hope alive. According to prosecutor's office, the newspaper was banned for spreading lies and insulting Islam.